He's so nice. He's so nice. <laughs> I've been trying to push my drone harder in drone practice, and I think the thing holding me back the most is not getting the stick up to full throttle. And I think there's one big obvious reason to me is that when I hold this transmitter, I hold it like this, where my right hand is up here a little bit higher, up, and so the stick is directly under my thumb in the middle of the gimbal. Over here on the left side, I hold my hand down a little lower, and so when I have to go full throttle, it's kind of, I'm pushing it up there, instead of here, I'm just, I'm holding it up there at the top of, end of my thumb. Over here, I'm pushing it up there. Well, I could put my hand up here higher, but then it's a little awkward down here at the bottom, and so I kind of have to have my hand here, and it just, it doesn't work out well. So one thing one of my friends said was try one of these M9R gimbals. And these gimbals, what they do, they have a little bit shorter throw. On this one here, you can see there's full throttle and there's down all the way. It's not quite 90 degrees, it's probably about 80 degrees or so, but the uh, throw on this is pretty far. What they did on this M9R is actually lowered that, that stick throw to 45 degrees so it doesn't you know, take so much to push it up all the way. And I flew his quadcopter and it felt like it was gonna be <laughs> very nice. So here on this one, we can see it goes from here to there. So that's all the more throw that this new M9R gimbal has. And I'm hoping that when I start flying this, it'll be a lot easier to hit full throttle just because the throw won't be so far and hopefully I can hold my hand up a little higher and see how it goes. Anyway, I wanted to put this into my Tyrannus and I did a lot of thinking about this and I decided not to put it into this Tyrannus. Instead, I bought a whole new Tyrannus. This is a special edition rock monster one. I've been eyeing this for a while and I finally decided just to do it. Rather than mess up my other Tyrannus and with trying to put a gimbal in, I'd mess up a brand new one instead. The special edition comes in this fancy little neoprene case and voila, voila, there it is. Now, like I said, why, why would I buy one of these and why was I even looking at getting a new one? Well, this one has there's little gimbal covers on here for transporting, looks like. But it has these newer gimbals in here already. Now again, this one here is the longer throw. We'll take a look at this real quick. It's the longer throw one still. So this is the one I'm going to pull out and put the M9R in instead. Also, this one has the antenna up here that can be removed and put longer or different antennas on if you want. And also, the switches are a little different. They're a little bit softer to the, um, to the switching. They don't have as much of a click, you know, although that's really not that big of a deal. But this, uh, but the nice thing about these special editions are they're water dipped and so all your graphics are always going to be unique. And even back here in the back, the battery or the little cover here was dipped right in along with it so it looks good on there and the battery cover down below was dipped with it too so it looks awesome. So first thing I'm going to do is open this up though and start pulling out this gimbal uh, to put the other one in. On the back of this gimbal, there's these two little adjusters right here. And if you look closely, well, it's kind of hard to see, but the one here on the left has that little indention on it. And what that does is, if you tighten this, if you tighten this left screw up here, the little clicking that you feel when you move the throttle up and down, it will intensify that or lessen it. And I've actually loosened it enough to where I don't have any clicks at all in here, it just feels super smooth. Then this one here, the second one here on the right, this one uh, will increase how, um, how tight the stick is going up and down. You can tighten it up or loosen it. I just left mine where it is because it's pretty good. If you loosen it too much, I imagine it just flop around. <laughs> and that'd probably be a little too loose. Anyway, so I like it about like this, and I, I'm going to try it with no clicks. Both my old Tyrannus and my older Turner G9X, they both had the clicks in it. But I'm going to try this without the clicks, and we'll see how it goes. On the back of the Tyrannus, there's six screws that look like this. There's one down here in the corner, one up here, and then two up there, and then the same places over here. Take those six screws out, and then the front and the back plates, or front and back pieces of the shell, should start coming apart. Also, you need to loosen up these little nuts right here around these switches, just the front ones because they're going to want to fall apart a little bit. There it comes. I think you did it. Good, there it is. Okay, just really nervous. <laughs> I don't want to destroy this before I've even turned it on. So here's the gimbal that we're going, no, 
this is the one we're going to be replacing over here. Make sure you get the right one. So the uh, first thing you have to do now is to disconnect these wires that all plug in all the different places and then take the four screws out around the front, like right here, that hold it into the Tyrannus case itself. Oh yeah, and there it is. This is one of the newer M9 gimbals, and again it has the two adjustments over here, where the one with the notch, which you can kind of see right there, that's for the how much of the little clicking you want to feel, and the other one's is how tight you want the gimbal to be while you're moving it. When you go to install this, you want the little side over here with the, all the wires coming out of it, I think this is where the sensor side is, you want that to go on the outside of the Tyrannus. So it's going to go over here, Hopefully just fit right back down in there. All right, so I'll get the other two put in here in just a second. Now the next thing to do is to hook these back up where they're supposed to go. And you can tell this only has three different pieces to connect up to it. Let me zoom in a little bit. So it only has the three pieces. And so you can kind of tell this one goes back here on the big one because it's the only one that's big still. Then the little short one will go right here for your trim adjustments. And then this one will reach up over here to the side. And I think that should be good to go. All right, so next thing we need to do is get the antenna put on here, get the battery back in, and we're going to go in and calibrate the new gimbal. I can already feel a huge difference in this. It feels like it's just going a little shorter, like it doesn't go up all the way and it doesn't come down all the way. All right, so what we want to do here is get into the settings for the Tyrannus, not for your individual models. The way you do that is by holding down the menu button and then it goes into the radio setup. And so somewhere in here, let's see if I go over to switch test analog inputs hardware calibration. Okay, we're going to push enter to start. So push enter, center the sticks. Oh yeah, this is not correct right now. Okay, go ahead and put that in the middle. All right, go ahead and push enter. Move the sticks. Okay, so there's all the way up, there's all the way down on both sides. It feels weird because the one on the left goes the shorter distance than the one on the right. Go to all the ends. Okay, make sure these are set. And these, enter. All right, so there, sticks are calibrated. Good, so that should be all there is. Now the next thing to do is to rebind all my models and start trying this thing out. Hopefully, I'll be able to report back later and say that yes, this is awesome, or no, don't waste your money. But I can already tell you, I'm already gonna like it because my friend already has one, and I flew his quadcopter, and I felt like I was flying at full throttle most of the time when I was flying it around just to test it out. Anyway, oh, people also call this the Red Eye Monster because now there's only one red stick. You can buy a nine an M9 gimbal that's red that is not the short throw and put it on this side if you want to. However, I'm not planning on doing that. I plan on leaving it just like this. So now I gotta get these rest of the screws put in and uh, we'll be good to go. Anyway, if you have any questions about this M9 gimbal, leave them down, M9R gimbal, leave them down in the comments. I will try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.